What? Thought Halloween was my only favorite holiday? Well, I'll have you know I celebrate and or participate in many a holiday festivity. I've been known to partake in the annual Tamaranian Gotham City. Many say that people don't deserve to live here. Some say it is possessed by the Halloween spirit more than a Christmas spirit. But is that really true? Night falls on Christmas Eve in Gotham. The sidewalks bustle with last minute shoppers. A peaceful, almost heavenly scene. Would injustice and tragedy dare to creep in? There's too much contrary experience to believe otherwise. As the eerie bat signal shimmers against a snow-filled cloud, the atmosphere takes on a celestial composition. For 2,000 years, mystics have experienced the many mysteries surrounding Christmas. Tonight, there will be one more. Batman arrives on the precinct rooftop to ask Commissioner Gordon of crime. Gordon happily informs the dark do-gooder that there is no emergency. He called Batman to advise that Christmas Eve is no night for Batman to be patrolling. It is the season to be jolly after all. Batman, annoyed more than usual, retorts that crime and disaster don't observe holidays. Gordon insists that tonight will be different. He just knows it. He ushers Batman into the precinct, where the boys in blue are getting jolly. Batman's inner monologue just scoffs. Nothing ever happens just by saying it. It is then Batman is asked to provide his world-famous baritone to some Christmas carols. Adorably taken with the spirit, Batman asks, why not? And then everyone erupts into a rendition of Jingle Bells. Across town, a deprived child absconds with a recently purchased present. The boy brings the package to his equally deprived friends. Eagerly, the present is unwrapped to reveal a Batman action figure. Migo, of course. The boys are then racked with guilt over having stolen such a symbol of justice. The toy is rewrapped by all the boys and returned. Back at the precinct, Batman and the Blue Boys, now that's a name worthy of a singing group, belt out We Three Kings as an aspiring robber bumps into a familiar silhouette. Scrambling for his lost gun, the wannabe robber readies to kill, a Batman actor promoting a Christmas drive for the blind. Ashamed, the wannabe robber throws away his gun. Meanwhile, the precinct swings to Santa Claus is coming to town. As two streets over, a woman named Patty mourns the loss of her husband, Ted, to Vietnam. She wanders to the closest bridge where she buys a flower from a homeless peddler. She reads the letter from the U.S. government that informed her of her loss. She ponders as to whether or not throw herself into the icy river. However, she pauses that thought as she discerns the bat-shaped flow of the water. She resolves to throw the flower into the river instead. Unbeknownst to the grieving widow, a military vehicle stops behind her and out jumps Ted. The news of his demise was very much mistaken. And as the clock strikes midnight, the halls of the precinct from the vacant sergeant desk to the empty cells are filled with warm notes of silent night. I hope they finish the evening with a rendition of It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. That's my favorite. Time skips as Batman realizes it is now six in the morning and not one report of crime, as if the spirit of Christmas peace took hold of everyone. It is then that Commissioner Gordon dissipates as he asks, what is the Christmas spirit? Might it not be you or I? Batman quickly rubs his eyes, thinking they are playing tricks on him after a long night. Upon opening his eyes, he witnesses a flabbergasted commissioner inform him that they have silently waited all night for a crime, and none happened. Perhaps the investment Batman has put into the city has paid off. Batman also notices the cops are all quiet, tired, and bored. As the dawn breaks on a beautiful Christmas night, Batman swings away, pondering if the surreal evening was indeed due to such an investment. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. Happy Tamaranian. Racing through the snow on an icy Gotham day. Jokers on the go, laughing all the way. The bells on penguins ring, make Riddler jump from fright. Two-Face wants to flip a coin and sing a song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, Batman smells, 
Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile broke its wheel and the Joker got away.